Hello there, Pisces. How's it going? <clears throat> it's time for your reading. My name is Kelly, and I will be doing the read for you guys today. Hope you're enjoying your day. So what's going on here with Pisces? So we have uh, Kanaz in reverse. Hmm. Kanaz in reverse is being left in the dark or left in the cold. Um, yeah, it's not a really happy rune. I love that rune when it's in the upright, but when it's in reverse like that, it's talking about this could be something that you don't know. Because it could be something that you're in the dark about, or it could be just the way that, you know, you felt left in the dark about something. But let's see what's going on here. So we have Digaz. Huh. Digaz. So digaz is light. This is transformation. This is a torch. And when you're in the dark, you can see with a torch. And there it is. And this is transformation. So whatever that, you know, you were in the dark about, something's coming to light. I'm feeling that tired energy. Somebody out there is tired. <coughs> Somebody out there is really tired. Then you have uh, um, Jera, and this is a breakthrough. This is some sort of a breakthrough. It's it's a uh, it's uh, it's definitely a breakthrough. It's a surprise, okay, of some kind. So we have Urus. Urus in reverse. There it is. Pisces. It's like, be really, really careful about your health. Um, you know, it looks like, you know, some of you may be really super tired and not getting enough rest. And, you know, um, this is advising you to take really good care of yourself, you know, and try to get as much sleep as you can because it could be, you know, physically deteriorating on, you know. It could also talk about something, you know, that could be on your mind about the past as well. Maybe you're thinking about something that, you know, was lost. Okay, because Uruz is talking about, you know, a lost opportunity. But it's in the advice column, so it's not saying that you've lost an opportunity. It's just saying that, you know, that's why I'm feeling. And also, Urus is talking about sudden change. So um, be prepared for sudden, sudden change. See, look at this. You have, uh, you have digas right here. So this is... Uh, transformation and I feel it's going to be very very sudden all right it, this is this is an indication of it right here with Jera all right hmm. interesting
So we have Bell House. This is feeling vulnerable and watching out for danger. So for some reason or another, you're feeling vulnerable or you will be feeling vulnerable. And for some, for some reason. But Pisces, uh, you know, you're, you know, I feel that you're still going to be protected. Just use your common sense. This is kind of like feeling like you're vulnerable. You know, you're looking out for danger. You're worried about something. I don't know why yet, but... You know, transformation, Pisces, isn't always the most pleasant thing, you know, especially if it's sudden. <laughs> sudden change makes you feel vulnerable, right? Does that makes sense. So we have Hadjelez. Hadjelez. And Hadjelez is uh, something shocking, okay? So somebody's going to bring something to you that is shocking. So, so I don't know, this is somebody else's energy, but it's affecting you because you're feeling vulnerable and, and uh, you know, yeah. Oh, He was. Well, you know, that's a very positive rune. This is Libra energy. Um, you could be dealing with somebody with Libra in their chart. Doesn't have to be. Uh, Iwas is a can can indicate uh, a partner or some or a friend or someone that you trust. So, uh, it could be. Um, it can also mean travel. Um, yeah, huh? Let's get some more. Pisces. Barkana, huh? Barkana is awesome. This is like a new beginning. So this person wants to offer you a new beginning. Whoever this person is. This could be a family member. Barkana is a, a rune of a family. This could be somebody in your family. They could be traveling towards you because I see... E was here. It, it could it could indicate travel. It doesn't have to be travel. It could be just um, it could be just that, just partnerships and trust. But whatever this this person um, wants to offer you something, some new beginning, and it's very shocking, and it's going to make you feel feel kind of like on guard. Because it's going to be something very sudden, and also don't re don't forget, Pisces. Please take care of your health. Get lot get lots of sleep. Very important. All right, oh, Pisces. I gotta get to bed by midnight, otherwise I'm no good. <laughs> It, I can stay up till maybe one. It depends. I see. So we have uh, the blank rune. That's it. That's all she wrote. Just, you know, um, 
Yeah. This is this is no uh, decision. This is just something that is not really kind of like. It's just in the read. It's just I, I feel that it kind of like means nothing. It just it's there's nothing more to say. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, now this. Uh, Rune is also touching Kanaz, which is, um, you know, uh, this person here could, since this blank Rune is touching Kanaz over here, this person here could be, um, could be worried about something. Yeah, they could be worried about something. Huh. Interesting. Let's get some cards. Hope you guys are having a great day. What's going on with Pisces? I oh, got got the death. Oh wow! This is awesome, Pisces. Look at this. You got the death card. You're coming out of some really dark place here and you're moving into this beautiful light. This is called transition. It's the death card. Look at this. Wow, this is a trip, Pisces. Look at, this is Canaz. This is like being in the dark. Being in the dark and then being transformed, going to the light. Look at the light right there. Wow. Yeah, so like coming out of the dark, going into the light, transforming. Yeah. And I think that this is going to be kind of sudden and shocking. Huh. Wow. What's going on with Pisces? Well, so you have the five, the five of pen, the five of cups. <laughs> wow. So, you know, fives indicate change, Pisces. And Uru's indicates change, sudden change. When it's in reverse, it's sudden. And it's unpredictable change because you got the blank rune. So you don't really know. Both of y'all don't know. This person don't know. But this is change. This is talking about some sort of, uh, you know, um, it could be talking about some sort of healing process over some sort of a, a relationship issue. That could be this person right here. This person, uh, this other person's energy. But I feel that uh, the both of you love each other. Look at this. There's two cups up here. Hmm. Yeah, just look up. This is also healing it, with the death card. Yeah, you know, this is healing. Huh. And something changing, something changing with this person for sure. And like I said, this could be a family member with Barcano right there. Huh. What's going on with Pisces? So you got um, the chariot. Hmm. The chariot. You know, uh, Pisces, the chariot is... Um, is uh, forward movement. It's it's um, it's very very positive. Um, if this is your energy, I feel that this is somebody else's energy. You know, Ewa's over here is talking about travel, so somebody could be traveling to you. Somebody could be moving to you. Huh.
Interesting. Oh, the Pisces. Yeah, I don't think that that's your energy. Oops, dang it. That was a trip. Justice just fell out. I'm not gonna pull it, but I just, justice just fell out of my hand. So, uh, you know, this is the, the Nine of Swords, huh? Yeah, what did I say? I feel that this person here is worried about something. Yeah, they could be traveling to you, Pisces. And it's, it could be very shocking. Very shocking. It's gonna, if it, you know, it, it, it could be, uh, you know, making you feel insecure for sure. You know, the nine of uh, swords can also uh, indicate, um, it could indicate, you know, it could be rubbing off on your energy as well there, are Pisces with Urus in reverse, because, you know, you need to get your sleep. It's very important that you get your rest. I don't feel that that's your energy, but I kind of feel it in a way, though, because Urus in reverse, you know, is telling you to make sure and take care of your, your health, right? Get your rest. <laughs> and what else? So, yeah, this is... Uh, this is somebody here. Uh, I think that they're traveling toward you. Yeah, I do. What else is going on with Pisces? Wow, oh, you got the star. Wow. Hmm. So the star is really good, good uh, energy. You know, it's healing energy too, you know. It's kind of like wishing upon a star. It's like healing energy. This is also Aquarius energy. Um, you could be dealing with a, somebody with Aquarius in their chart as well. Um, yeah, interesting. I'm going to pull some of these cards here too. <clears throat> Sorry, Pisces. I don't have much room here. Oops. <laughs> you and your loved ones are safe. New moon and cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So just know that, okay? I mean, you're feeling a little bit vulnerable here. You know, and, you know, the star is also talking about uh, this, the star energy could be talking about that, you know, things are very, very close. All right. Change is very, very close. This is the change. And the star card can indicate that change is, is very, very close. This person here, um, yeah, could be definitely traveling towards you for sure. Oh, interesting. Huh. At least that's the way I see it anyway. And remember, this is just a general reading, you guys. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. But, I mean, yesterday I said money. I didn't get any money. Did you guys? <laughs> I didn't. But, I mean, I will tomorrow, I think. But still. What's going on with Pisces? Yeah. By the way, I didn't mention this. If you're new, these are called the Awarm Runes. And every little piece of twig here is a different type of tree. They're from Ireland uh, and Scotland, which was back in the day called Hiberia. Right? It's a language. It's an alphabet. And the name of this one right here is called Louis. And um, Louis is a rowan tree. This is a little piece of rowan tree. 
And Louis reminds us to keep our wits about us and be aware of our surroundings and to treat our situation, to be aware of our surroundings and trust our intuition. She warns of potential danger, but also suggests that we have the courage to overcome all difficulties if we use common sense and remain grounded. And see, this is where you're going to have to really remain grounded here with, uh, you know, because you're kind of feeling on guard. Louis also speaks to a connection with mystery and magic, and she invites us to look inward for guidance and to tap into our inner strength. All right. So, yeah. So, you know, uh, things are really turning around here. Uh, just uh, Pisces, something shocking is, 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 you know. And the timeline for this could also be different as well. So, you know, it just depends upon, you know, who, whatever, you know. This is just a general reading. <laughs> okay, you guys, don't take it literal, um, you know. Sometimes these readings could match right up with me, and then sometimes they don't. Usually they don't with me, but, you know, but they do with a lot of you guys. So, um, yeah. So anyway, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.